And we begin our Celebrate Cities coverage this morning by diving into the history of Waveland. Rob is live all morning long at Sugar Pop Baking Company in Waveland. I'm quite jealous about that. And that's where we are going now to get more information. Good morning, Rob. Hey, good morning, Ansley. Good morning, South Mississippi. Ansley, I wish you were here with me. I know your sweet tooth. I know your love of things sweet. This would be the perfect place for you. Folks, this morning we are in Waveland, Mississippi. If you hadn't been out here in a while, it is time to come check this place out. They're reinventing themselves over here in uh, the Hancock County area, not just the Bay St. Louis area, which I'm sure quite a few of you are familiar with, but a little bit further to the west as well. Bay, uh, excuse me, the Waveland uh, area. This is really uh, developing over the past couple of years. Now, this morning we are at Sugar Pop Baking Company. I'm going to put my camera guy on the spot real quick. EJ, I'm going to step out the shot. Can we zoom in and show a couple of these back here? Um, Sorry, I should have told DJ that before. I like to catch him off guard. Hey, folks, the smell in here this morning, truly, truly phenomenal. You see what AG, EJ is zooming in on? My goodness, if you have a sweet tooth, if you don't know about Sugar Pop Baking Company, you got to come check these folks out. It is, well, the smell, to say the least, is truly intoxicating. It's cinnamon, baked goods. There's some chocolate in the background. And these creation, they, they're more of a work of art compared to anything else. So we are live at Sugar Pop Baking Company this morning. We've got a lot to talk about, including many, many reasons why you've got to come check out the Waveland community once again. You know, for those of us who uh, made it through Katrina, Waveland was one of the hardest hit. Hancock County, that was. Bay St. Louis, the Waveland area. And, you know, Waveland has taken quite a bit of time, longer than the other cities, to reinvent themselves and come back, from my point of view anyway. And if you've driven through here, I'm sure you understand what I've meant, uh, or rather what I mean. Now, this area, there's a lot of history, just like everywhere else in South Mississippi. You know, the land known today as Waveland was sparsely settled back at the turn of the 19th century. Uh, a large land, uh, land grant of 640 acres of property that will one day be known as Waveland. This was granted by Spanish colonial government to, and you know some of these names, Jean Baptiste Moran, uh, who unfortunately passed away a little bit later at 1811. Uh, the coast was evolving. This place was becoming one of the favorite sites for vacation, but you know, almost uh, all of these vacation houses were in the sleepy little village of Bay St. Louis and Pash Christiane. Waveland was not that well known, but in 1872, an immigrant from Germany uh, Fred W. Brown moved to the area and started a vineyard near the intersection of what is present day Waveland Avenue and Highway 90. In 1872, a railroad was completed and connected Mobile to New Orleans, which, of course, that really brought more to South Mississippi, including the Waveland community. Uh, the railroad, you can say, was responsible for the birth of Waveland uh, and the growth of it as we know it today. The city of Waveland was incorporated in 1972, and as of 2010, the census, uh, the population, 6,435. Keep in mind, this is as of the 2010 census. Waveland, total area of only 8.6 square miles, of which 8.5 of that is land, and a little less than a quarter mile of that is water. You know, a famous uh, president, Andrew Jackson, once lived, uh, once lived and owned land in Waveland on what is known as Jackson Ridge. Uh, folks, this area is just beaming with history. Uh, lots to see in this area as well. And, you know, as locals, we tend to hit those bigger areas. Uh, of course, one of the bigger areas right next to Waveland is Bay St. Louis, the old town Bay St. Louis area. We know about the happenings there and the weekends and things of that nature. Waveland is a spot that is just a little bit further west. They have a lot that you want to come check out as well. And this morning, we're going to showcase a lot of that for you. We've got the chamber joining us later this morning, local businesses, own, local business owners. And we were hoping to have a little bit of a history as well with a historian, but unfortunately, that couldn't make it. And of course, we're going to close things out later this morning, closer to about 840 with Mayor Trapini. And uh, again, we're going to showcase Waveland, all the quaintness it has to offer. We're going to bring it to your attention and we're going to let you know why instead of heading to New Orleans, which we're not saying don't go to New Orleans, but what I'm saying is that if you're in Harrison County, you're driving west towards uh, Bay St. Louis, 
come just a little bit further, just a few minutes and check out Waveland. You're going to love what they have to offer. So again, this morning, EJ and I are live at Sugar Pop Baking Company. Folks, we're going to be talking to our host coming up in about another uh, 45 minutes to an hour. Lots happening this morning, so stay tuned for that. We're going to have interviews all the way through 9 a.m. But right now, reporting live from where you live, Waveland, Mississippi, I'm Rob Knight.